This is hole one. They missed the drive. It's a par three, about 270 feet. A uh, big hyzer shot. You got to go up and around and then land it on the shelf. So this is my birdie putt from about 20. So first putt of the day, a little high, but made it. And he also birdied, so we're tied after one. Hole two is about 220 feet. There's a drop off to the right and long and fairly reasonable fairway to hit. You just gotta be careful not to go right and long. So you wanna leave it short and or left. So I'm throwing a forehand verdict. And clip that tree or I'd have been a little closer, but solid. So this is my birdie putt on hole two from about 20 feet, about the same distance as hole one. Zach has already missed his putt, so this is for the hole. So a little low left, and I was actually aiming low, so I took that, and I am up one. Hole three is 356 feet. So we're right up the join us. Mike took a birdie there on two. Take the lead one, nothing. Zach missed his putt there. Looks like uh, Mike's probably 25 feet there. Nice forehand shot. So this putt is from about 25, maybe a little longer. There is a drop off behind the basket and my opponent has already missed his putt. So hole four is 223 feet downhill to the left. Mike looks like he threw a rock or something of the sort there. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. He'll be putting about uh, 10 feet, 12 feet maybe. Yeah, it was a great looking line. So that was to tie the hole push. and push it. Mike first on the tee. Hole five is 211 feet uphill through a pretty narrow gap. He went about uh, 20 feet past. Nice shot. Oh, put to the left, that was an ace. So this is another one for birdie from about 20 feet and my opponent already has a par. So that putt gave me a two hole lead after six, and I birdied five of the first six holes. Hole six is about 160 feet up through a little gap. Mike got the tree there, got really lucky. Got very lucky. Wow. He's sitting about 15 feet. So my opponent is just inside me, so he's gonna birdie this. So this is to tie the hole and stay up to. Hole seven is a 555 foot par four, requires a pretty good tee shot. Mike's going out here in the opening. Oh, Mike got the early tree away over there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Got so my ago. drive was pretty far back. I'm just oh, playing for the four. It's on a dark colored disc, so it's a little hard to see. He's coming up right here. He's probably got uh, 80 or 100 feet left. Mike here with his third shot. So I gave this one a bid, but my opponent was inside me. He was about 60 feet, and he actually hit the long putt, so he took that hole. Mike with a good looking shot coming in here. So 
Mike's left with about uh, 25 feet. So my opponent actually went out of bounds on his drive and then already threw his third shot, so he's got a four. So even though I can make this putt, I just lay it up and take my Mike takes an easy lay up here. And I take the hole. Blame. So he took hole seven, I, I took hole eight, Mike. so I'm up two he's going saying, into the hole. He's saying in a sweep he's going to win every hole. Oh, I didn't even see Mike throw. He threw that real dark disc. It hit the tree right over here in front of me, and it's on that hillside there. It looked like it had stopped. He throws a dark. So I was a decent ways down the hill. I just needed oh, to play Mike an up shot there. and did not turn that's out second well. Second shot, so he's got an obstructed Through a pretty putt, narrow gap. Probably 40 feet. So my Smoke opponent pretty much there. has uh, three at this point, so I shot. really have to make this shot. Try to keep um, if I make it, match. I'm up two after the top nine. Mm -hmm. If I miss it, I'm up one. And this hole off the tee was 365 feet with a couple different gaps. So I've got to wind it through these two trees right there and just didn't Off the top of the cage. So I am up one going into the bottom nine. Nice run. All right. Zach already threw. I just was trying to tag everybody. I heard it hit behind me. I apologize I didn't catch it. Starting on hole 10 here, and the score is 3-2 to two in favor of Urbank. Here's his first shot. And this one's about 220 feet straight ahead. Beautiful shot. Wow, that's a drop in. Absolute drop in. So after 10 holes, it's still three holes to Mike. I'm gonna go ahead and boogie so I get up here ahead of them on 10 or on 11. Hole 11's 232 feet, a little uphill through a couple narrow gaps. Mike coming right up the middle. But it's gonna catch some air on him. Wow, that really took off. That came down the hill. I see it down there, it's on the very edge. Got, uh, got his hands full there. My opponent was about 25 feet out. Three holes and two I Urbank. To make him make a putt. Hole number 11. Urbank's probably got. Oh man, he's ever been 60 feet and uphill into the wind. Sorry for interruption there, guys. Nice run. Give himself an easy three. So I forced him to make a putt, and he missed, so we actually pushed the hole. Hole 12 is through a gap about 300 feet around a corner hard left, and my opponent has already parked his. Mike throwing that black disc again, wherever that thing is. That's a very makeable putt also. So my opponent has a 10-foot tap in, and I've got this from 20 here. to 25 feet. Mike's got a one-shot lead, three to two. Both of them are parked. Basically, well, I wouldn't call Merbank Park, but he's got a very magical putt. John, I got stuffed on tacos, man. Not cool. Merbank with the two. So uh, hole 13, Lopez. fairly open until you get up near the pin. It's about 300 feet, and the basket's tucked to the right in the woods. There goes Urbank with a forehand. Oh, wow. That is right behind the basket. That was an incredible shot. An incredible forehand shot right there. Not sure what he threw, but, man, that thing just didn't want to stop. A little bit obstructed there. He can probably drop it in around the right side. Let's hope so anyway. Mike was uh, a little bit of an ace run there with that skip, just wide. He's uh, right there, same black disc. Man, he's just killing with that thing. Uh, John, I'm not sure. He needs to make this or I have a chance to go up two and he misses. Off the top of the cage there, unfortunately. Oh, it's right there, Mike.
So now I'm up two, going into hole 14, which is a 350 foot tunnel shot with OB water all along the left. That's coming around. It's gonna skip right out there. That's incredible. Wow. He's probably 15 feet. Four holes to two, hole 14, if anybody's just joining us. Zach's about 50 to 60 feet out on the edge of the timber over there. Mike's laying right there by that tree. Beautiful forehand shot. So my opponent already threw his up shot. You can see it right there. So this is from about 20 to go up three. Logan, I'll ask him that after the round. I was wondering the same thing. Mike drills it. So that's uh, five holes to two. Mike. So hole 15 is about 270 feet hard right into the woods with a couple trees off the tee. That was Mike's shot. That is... Still golden. Wow, that guy just can't miss today. That's incredible. There, he's probably, he's 30 feet. Give or, yeah, he's probably 30 feet. So this putt's from about 30 feet, and if I make this, the match is over. So I missed, so we're going to go into hole 16, which is about 400 feet over a creek around a corner hard left. Mike's first shot here on 16. And he got into the tree earlier there. It's right out here in front of me. He's got every bit of 150 left. He is just wearing him out with that black disc today. That's really something. Mike with a pretty good looking shot right there. Take his three and probably the game right there. Par will finish it. All right. So that uh, concludes our broadcast here. Urbank uh, five holes to two. So thank you.